right so we just pulled the boat out of the water we were out fishing all day um and i noticed today i've got a handful of reels that are just they need a little tlc they're getting a little dirty a little grindy and so what we're going to do right now is head back to the garage and i'm going to run you through basically just how i maintain my reels it's nothing overly complicated you just need a little grease a little oil um and a screwdriver basically so uh i'm going to run you through how to do it and what you need to complete the job. So first things first, before you start cleaning your reel, it's a good idea to just kind of get everything together. So I'm doing a spinning reel. As you can see, obviously bait casters, the process will be slightly different, but basically the tools are the same. Um, so one nice thing is this reel care kit. So basically, this comes with pretty much everything you need to do this. Um, it's not overly complicated, but there's plenty of stuff in here. So you get a little little thing of grease. Um, that's pretty nice. Some grease, two different bottles of real oil. Um, this is like just two different applicators. So this is a little needle applicator. And then you get your spray bottle. Um, so two of those, a brush, uh, a screwdriver that's both Phillips and a flathead, and then a little rag just to wipe things down with. So that's what you get in your Real Care kit. That's everything you'll need. A couple things that I also use, I just like to lay out a towel here so I just don't lose anything. If I drop something, it doesn't roll off the table, a little screw or whatever it might be. And then also just a wet rag. So basically to get into it, um, with spinning reels, the first thing I like to do is just take the handle off, set that aside, um, and then after removing the handle, I just take this wet rag. I like to get all the dirt and grease or, or whatever's on the outside of the reel off first. So you can see on this one, it's pretty dirty right underneath. I just kind of take it and clean that off. Just get all the dirt and everything off of there. So that's good. It's basically all the dirt and everything I can get off of here. So first things first, I'm actually gonna pop the spool off. And I should mention too, um, this isn't, I'm not gonna show you how to do like a full disassemble and clean. This is more of like, just kind of a regular maintenance type deal um, that I like to do just to keep everything oiled up nicely and working as it should. I mean, this reel is super old. I shouldn't say super old, but it's pretty old. I don't know, I've had it eight, nine years and it still works great, but doing this definitely helps. So now that I got the spool off, I'm just gonna take all the, the these drag components off the spindle and definitely keep track of how those go on there. Take a picture if you need to. Um, I'm basically, as I go through this, I'm just gonna oil everything that moves, okay? So I'm not gonna do any greasing today, but I also like to you know, give everything a good clean. So as I'm doing this, I'm actually gonna use my wet rag again. I'm gonna kind of wipe up the inside here. So you can see there's dirt, whatever, build up on all that. So I'm just gonna kind of wipe it out. I mean, it's a big part of this whole deal is just getting debris off of your reel, like just build up and dirt and grime, whatever, off of it. So now that I got the inside cleaned up, I'm just gonna throw a little oil in here. Um, this applicator right here, this they call it the needle oiler. Uh, it's pretty sweet because you can be really precise. So I'm just gonna throw some oil right at the base of the spindle there, right on top of that little nut. Go ahead and I'm just gonna kind of exercise that, make it go up and down, work that oil into the internals of the reel. That, and then I'm just gonna throw some oil kind of on the spindle. You know, it's similar to like oil in a gun. You just kind of get oil on the metal parts and just to give it some protection. So 
I've done that. I'm just going to wipe off the excess because if you leave too much in there, uh, that's the oil and grease is what's going to attract dust and all that kind of stuff. So keeping things neat, tidy, clean it up. So that's really good <clears throat> there on that stuff. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take the hardware that I had popped off and all this stuff. I'm just going to wipe these down as well. So all these little discs and everything. I like to kind of lay it out opposite of the order that they go on. So I'm just going to take that and I'm just going to clean these up a little bit as well. Keep in mind the order that you took these off on. Clean that up. Boom, boom. There. And I'm just going to go ahead and I guess reinstall it. Just put it back on the spindle. Same order they came off on. There. There. And then I'm actually, I'm going to just kind of put some oil onto that stuff as well. I guess I could probably could have oiled it while they were off, but. There, wipe off any major excess. That's really good there. So <clears throat> honestly, so this isn't like, it's not a huge crazy process. I mean, and just doing this quick little wipe down and oil can make your reels last a long time. So you can see the inside of the spool, super dirty as well. So once again, just gonna wipe that down. Be careful too, a lot of reels have a little spring in there. You don't want to break any of that internal stuff, so just not pressing on it too hard. So that's looking pretty good there. And now, I don't want to get any on my line that's on here, but <clears throat> inside of this, I'm just going to take the spray bottle, cover up my line pretty good with my hand, and just give that a good spray on the inside there. Kind of got a lot in there, but once again, just wiping up the excess. So that's pretty good there. As far as the spool goes, there's not much else you can really oil, but I will put a little bit on the top here. That's a, actually a moving part. I could disassemble it and take it off, but honestly, it doesn't look too dirty from the outside, so I'm gonna leave it just like that. Go ahead, pop my spool back on. And I'll give the, the cap a good wipe down as well. There. Tighten that back on. So that's good for the spool and kind of the spindle and everything. That's all good to go. Um, so now there's a couple different things that you could do. If I were to be doing like a full breakdown of this reel and a, and a full on re-grease, I would pop these four screws out and take that plate off and re-grease the internals. Um, I just did that on this reel like a year ago. Um, you don't have to do the re-greasing that often. I mean, you can if you want. You can take it off, check how, how clean the grease is and, it, and that there's grease in there. Um, but one thing I will do, there's a, you can kind of see it. If you look really close, I don't, it might be tough to see on the camera, but there's actually a, a bearing on the inside here and what I will do is I will just give that a couple drops of oil not a ton because for the most part your internals are lubricated by grease not oil <clears throat> so now I, I've got some of that I dropped those few drops of oil in there that's really good to go 
Now we're going to move to like the bale section of the, the reel. So you can see this is super loose on here. Not good. Um, like I said, this reel is kind of old and pretty beat up, honestly. But I'm going to go ahead and actually just remove the bale totally. And this is where the towel comes in. It's nice to... Uh, set your screws on so they don't roll all over the place and obviously you don't want to lose anything. So you can kind of see in there, honestly everything looks pretty good. Um, it's not too dirty. I don't know if you can see that. But however, there's not a lot of grease left in there. So on this side, I'm actually going to take my dry cloth and just wipe that up a little bit. It doesn't appear as though there needs to be any grease on that side. But um, I'm actually going to go ahead and just take my brush and put a little dab of grease in there on the spring. Obviously, that is one of the most exercised parts of the reel. So I'm just going to go ahead and take that brush. I got a good amount of grease in there on that spoon, spring. Just clean up the outside here a little bit. Do that. And then now I can come to my bale. And I'm going to take this apart real quick. Just give everything in here a good wipe down and then re-oil it. So this roller in here is actually, what it is, is it's a bearing. Um, and so having a little oil in there is not a bad thing. And again, just making sure you're uh, Keeping track of how everything was placed in there. Grab that. See, that's a that's actually a bearing. You can see. So that's just the roller part. I'm just gonna stack that stuff back on there. That a little spacer. And I'm actually just gonna. Should drop some on this on the bearing as well. Drop a little oil in there. Stack that spacer back on there. And then put this piece back on. And one thing when you're putting this back on, just kind of be aware. Don't over tighten it. Um, Because you still want that bearing and everything to be able to tighten that down. And we can kind of readjust that once we get it on there. Um, and then we'll tighten it down the rest of the way, honestly. Just going to go ahead and put that on. Tighten that down a little bit. I want it a little loose so I can re-tighten it um, when I put it back on. If you look here, you can kind of see, I've wiped some of it out uh, out already, but you can kind of see if I take this screwdriver, a lot of the old grease from in here, in here, um, is built up in these little crevices. So that's one thing. Definitely want to make sure I clean out. Probably not the best official tool, but a screwdriver works. I'm just going to kind of try and wipe down and get as much of that old grease out as I possibly can. That's pretty good. So if you look at this, there's two little deals here. There's a part on the spring and then there's this bar here. So the bar has to go into um, this channel right here. 
and then the spring, the part that comes off the spring has to go into this little hole, hole here. So I'm just going to go ahead and look at it this way. That spring is in the hole, the bar is in there, hold it on there, and then put my screw in while holding it on. It's not overly complicated, you just gotta, gotta work at it a little bit. Now, now my bar is loose, so we need to attach the other side. Piece comes off of there. Boom, like that. Put this side in. So that step, you don't necessarily have to do if you're not having any issues. So that's tight on there. Now that we're on, I'm gonna go ahead and just cinch down this back screw on the roller. And it's all working. And that step, like I said, you don't necessarily have to do. Um, one thing, if you're not gonna totally disassemble it though, is go ahead and take your screwdriver and check all these screws because they will loosen up over time. Um, and so just giving those a little tighten up every so often is not a bad idea. I'm just gonna go back and double check. And so that's honestly a huge portion of what we're doing. I mean, there's not much to it really. I mean, the reel feels super smooth. Um, the last thing would be, like I said, I'm just gonna go ahead and check all these screws and make sure they're tight. Um, and all of these are pretty good. Oh, that one's a little loose. Check that. Good to go. I already put some oil in there. So um, one thing I, <clears throat> I will do, so there's oil in there. Um, working really well, feels really smooth. I will just go ahead and put some oil in this little, by the handle as well. Kind of rotate that. Just to keep everything working smoothly. Um, yeah, that's basically how I maintain my spinning rails. I mean, a little bit of maintenance. I mean, if I were just doing this, it would take me 15 minutes a reel to get everything cleaned up. So, a um, little bit of maintenance, just like your boat, just like your truck, just like anything will help things last a lot longer. So, like I said, this year's going, this reel, um, I mean, it's not a high, it's not a $500 reel. This is a, uh, I would say, call it a price point reel. And this is going on, I don't know, six, seven, eight years, something like that. And it's, I do this every so often with it, uh, replace the grease every so often and everything just continues to work. So little maintenance, keep your reels working like, like they should for years to come.